Novena to our Mother of Perpetual Help. Mother of perpetual help, from the cross Jesus gave you to us for a mother. You are the kindest, the most loving of all mothers. Look tenderly on us, your children, as we now ask you to help us in all our needs, especially this one. While you were on earth, dear mother, you willingly shared in the sufferings of your son, strengthened by your faith and confidence in the fatherly love of your God. You accepted the mysterious designs of his will. We, too, have our crosses and trials. Sometimes they almost crash us to the ground. Dearest mother, share with us your abundant faith and confidence in God. Make us aware that God never ceases to love us, that He answers all our prayers in the way that is best for us. And strengthen our hearts to carry the cross in the footsteps of your divine Son. Help us to realize that He who shares the cross of Christ will certainly share His resurrection. Dearest Mother, as we worry about our own problems, let us not forget the needs of others. You always love others so much. Help us to do the same while praying for our own intentions and for the intentions of all here present at this novena. We earnestly ask you, Mother, to help us comfort the sick and the dying, give hope to the poor and unemployed, heal the brokenhearted, walk in solidarity with the oppressed, teach justice to the oppressors and bring back to God all those who have offended Him. Dearest Mother, help us to avoid sin which separates us from our Heavenly Father and from one another. Full of trust in You, we place ourselves under the mantle of Your maternal protection and confidently hope for Your compassionate intercession. Amen. Prayer for the home. Mother of perpetual health, we choose you as queen of our homes. We ask you to bless all our families with your tender motherly love. May the sacrament of marriage bind husbands and wives so closely together that they will always be faithful to each other and love one another as Christ loved his church. We ask you to bless all parents. May they love and cherish the children 
whom God has entrusted to them. May they always give them the example of a truly Christian life. Help them to bring up their children in the love and fear of God. Bless all children that they may love, honor, and obey their fathers and mothers to your loving care. We especially entrust the youth of today. Give us all a sense of responsibility that we may do our part in making our home a heaven of peace. Like your own home of Nazareth, we take you as our model. Help us to grow daily in a genuine love of God and neighbor, so that justice and peace may happily reign in the entire family of mankind. Amen. Prayer for the sick. Lord Jesus Christ, you bore our sufferings and carried our sorrows in order to show us clearly the value of human weakness and patience. Graciously hear our prayer for the sick, especially grant that they who are weighed down with pain and other affliction of illness may experience God's healing power and comfort. Restore them to health in body and soul so that they can continue to serve you and their brothers and sisters. Amen. Act of Consecration Immaculate Virgin Mary, Mother of God and Mother of the Church, you are also our Mother ever ready to help us. With hearts full of love for you, we consecrate ourselves to your Immaculate Heart so that we may be your devoted children. Obtain for us true sorrow for sins and fidelity to the promises of our baptism. We consecrate our minds and hearts to you that we always do the will of our Heavenly Father. We consecrate our lives to you that we may love God better and live not for ourselves but for Christ, your Son, and that we may see Him and serve Him in others. By this humble act of consecration, dear Mother of Perpetual Help, we pledge to model our lives on you, the perfect Christian, so that consecrated to you in life and in death, we may belong to your Divine Son for all eternity. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
Join us for the prayer to Jesus, the Divine Word. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear Jesus, Divine Word made flesh. From the beginning you already were, before even time began. You are Son, and with the Father, and the Holy Spirit, three persons, one God. But in the fullness of time, you created man, became man yourself, through God, the Holy Spirit, and Mary. You became Jesus, divine word made flesh. You came to our world to save us and show us how to live in love here, so we may live in love hereafter. Dear Jesus, divine word incarnate, please teach us to follow you. May our love for you always be made flesh, not ever lost in word or song alone. In prayer we come face to face with you like you with the Father and Holy Spirit, in love and service. May we likewise come face to face with our sisters and brothers, the least of them most of all. For as we treat each other, so do we treat you. In your name we pray now, always and in all ways. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Greetings in Christ to all of you, sisters and brothers, and to those who join us in worship through this live stream at the Diocesan Shrine of Jesus, the Divine Word, in Christ the King, Mission Seminary, Quezon City. Today is Wednesday within the octave of Easter. Our Mass presider today is Reverend Father Timotheus Gampur, SVD. Our celebration will now begin. Please rise. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God. And to you, and my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, that I have that greatly sinned sin in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, to my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy.
us pray. O God, who gladden us year by year with the solemnity of the Lord's resurrection, graciously grant that by celebrating these present festivities, we may merit through them to reach eternal joys through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter and John were going up to the temple area for the three o'clock hour of prayer. A man crippled from birth was carried and placed at the gate of the temple called the Beautiful Gate every day to beg for alms from the people who entered the temple. When he saw Peter and John about to go in the temple, he asked for alms. But Peter looked intently at him, as did John, and said, Look at us. He paid attention to them, expecting to receive something from them. Peter said, I have neither silver nor gold, but what I, have, what I do have, I give you. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Nazarene, rise and walk. Then Peter took him by the right hand and raised him up. And immediately his feet and ankles grew strong. He leaped up, stood and walked around, and went into the temple with them, walking and jumping and praising God. When all the people saw him walking and praising God, they recognized him as the one who used to sit begging at the beautiful gate of the temple, and they were filled with amazement and astonishment at what had happened to him. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Rejoice, O hearts that seek the Lord. Rejoice, O hearts that seek the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord. Invoke His name. Make known among the nations His deeds. Sing to Him. Sing His praise. Proclaim all His wondrous deeds. Rejoice, O hearts that seek the Lord. Glory in His holy name. Rejoice, O hearts that seek the Lord. Look to the Lord in His strength. Seek to serve Him constantly. Rejoice, O hearts that seek the Lord. You descendants of Ab Abraham, His servants, sons of Jacob, His chosen ones. He, the Lord, is our God. Throughout the earth, His judgments prevail. Rejoice, O hearts that seek the Lord. He remembers forever His covenant, which He made binding for a thousand generations, which He entered into the, with Abraham and by His oath to Isaac. Rejoice, O hearts that seek the Lord. We honor the Holy Gospel. And with your spirit, a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. That very day, the first day of the week, two of Jesus' disciples were going to a village seven miles from Jerusalem called Emmaus. 
and they were conversing about all the things that had that had occurred and it happened that while they were conversing and debating Jesus himself drew near and walked with them but their eyes were prevented from recognizing him he asked them what are you discussing as you walk along they stopped looking downcast one of them named Cleopas said to him in reply are you the only one the only visitor to Jerusalem who does not know of the things that have taken place there in these days and he replied to them what sort of things they said to him the things that happened to Jesus the Nazarene who was a prophet mighty indeed and in word before God and all the people how are all the people how our chief priests and rulers both handed him over to a sentence of death and uh, crucified him but we were hoping that who would be the would be the one to redeem Israel and besides all this it is now the third day since this took place some women from our group however have astounded us they were at the tomb early in the morning and did not find his body they came back and reported that they had indeed seen a vision of angels who announced that he was alive then some of those with us went to the tomb and found things just as the women had uh, described but uh, him they did not see and he said to them oh how foolish you are how slow of heart to believe all that the prophet spoke was it not uh, necessary that the Christ should suffer these things and enter into his glory the beginning with Moses and all the prophets he interpreted to them what referred to him in all the scriptures as they approached the village to which they were going he gave the impression that he was going on further but they urged him stay with us for it is nearly evening and the day is almost over so he went in to stay with them and it happened that while he was with them at a table he took bread said the blessing broke it and gave it to them with that their eyes were opened and they recognized him but he vanished from their sight then they said to each other were not our hearts burning within us while he spoke to us on the way and opened the scriptures to us so they set out at once and returned to jerusalem where they found gathered together the eleven and those with them who were saying the lord has truly been raised and he is, has appeared to simon then the two resounded recounted what had taken place on the way and how he was made known to them in the breaking of the bread the gospel of the lord praise to your lord jesus christ every christian those who read the bible familiar with this uh, story about two men walk on the road going to a mouse we all know that what happened with jesus he was crucified and buried and then when teachers teach jesus 
was going around and uh, taught the people in the temple, in the houses, everywhere, he always talked about his resurrection. But when it happened, everybody forgets it, including the, disi the disciples. But we could understand as a human being if we are in trouble malaking problema kinakaharap katulad yung nangyari sa mga disciples that's actually that's big problem for them because they are expecting that they will free from the Roman emperor and then they are expecting that Jesus are the redeemer of this world. But they forgot that Jesus is talking about the redeemer of heaven, of the soul. So, brothers and sisters, we are still walk in this world. We are still in our journey in this world. Sometimes we face problems. Sometimes we face struggles. As seminarian, we face difficulties in study. We face difficulties in follow the rules and regulations. Sometimes it is difficult to adjust ourselves. Sometimes we are confused. But don't forget, you are not alone. Even the disciples, when they face the problems, they are confused. They are afraid. And they, they forget Jesus. They were together, could you imagine? But when they walk on the road, they talk about Jesus. They still remember what happened to Jesus. They tell the stories. They, they, they tell their experience with Jesus. Maybe they talk about the love of Jesus. Will you remember that the reading? Hindi ba mo hindi hindi mo maalam na he was crucified. He is a good people. He did many good things, but he was crucified. So they still remember Jesus. So that's why Jesus come and then approach them asking many questions to open their eyes although hindi nila kaya dahil sobrang bigat ng problema but this Jesus never goes away hanggat hindi nila na feel na siya yun Come to Jesus, walk with Him, and then invite Him. Katulad ng ginigawa ng mga dalawang lalaki na yan. They invited Jesus. When Jesus want to walk away, and then they invite Him. Come with us. Stay with us kasi gabi na. Could you imagine kung hindi nila na-invite si Jesus, he just go away. But they invited Jesus. Please come, stay with us. And then at that time, Jesus sit down and then he did 
what he did before to open their eyes. Parang siya ng host, siya yung may-ari ng bahay. He break the bread and then blessing and then disappear when they realize that ito pala siya. Siya pala ito, si Jesus. So, during the Eucharist, Jesus introduced himself that ako ito, listen to him. Jesus never goes away. Huwag niyong makalimutan yun. When you are, you are in trouble, He comes. Ang kailangan lang, open your heart to feel the presence of Jesus. Open your eyes to see what is going on and invite Him to come to your heart and He will bless you. He will guide you. Kaya, they return to Jerusalem. They go back to continue His mission. So, brothers and sisters, if you are confused, the seminarians, if sometimes you are confused, you do not understand, that's okay. Sit down. Be quiet. Invite Jesus. Let him talk. Don't talk too much. Don't talk too much. Just, just be calm. Be quiet. Let Jesus speak up. Let Jesus introduce himself. He will. And then follow him. Go back. When you are roaming around, go around, your mind is roaming around, go away from the reality, go back to yourself. Go back to the reality. Accept the reality. And continue your mission, your journey in this world. Please rise. Recalling how the disciples on the road to Emmaus recognized Jesus in the breaking of the bread, we pray to God the Father for a deeper appreciation of the risen Christ as our spiritual food for the journey through life. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Pope and the bishops may effectively proclaim the message of hope by their lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That government leaders may bring hope and light to other people by their dedication to public service. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That we may understand why Christ had to suffer and rise from the dead on the third day. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the sick may be healed and be strengthened by the reception of the Eucharist. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the dead may enjoy the fullness of life in the company of the risen Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. In silence we offer our own intention. Heavenly Father, grant us the deep faith necessary to recognize your Son in all situations we experience in life, 
We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Receive, we pray, O Lord, the sacrifice which has redeemed the human race, and uh, be pleased to accomplish in us salvation of mind and body through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always all the times to acclaim you O Lord. But in this time, above all, to load you yet uh, more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed, for this uh, he is the true lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has uh, destroyed our death, and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with Pascal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly power with angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Indeed, holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness, make holy therefore these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord 
Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and uh, given thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and the resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have let us uh, worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and honest our bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. Let us ever command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And, and lead, lead us, us not, not into temptation, temptation but, but deliver us from evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we wait the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to our apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace, peace, peace. be with you. Lamb of, Lamb of God. God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. We pray, O Lord, that this reverent reception of the sacrament of your Son may cleanse us from our old ways and transform us into a new creation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.
Holy Trinity. 